G'day, I'm Ian Trust, Executive Chair of Winan Foundation, an Aboriginal organisation based in the East Kimberley region of Western Australia. The East Kimberley is one of the most disadvantaged areas in Australia. The vast majority of Aboriginal people are long-term welfare dependent, experiencing poverty, disempowerment, a breakdown of culture and severe social problems. I'd like to explain to you the extent of our people's crisis and share a way of making change, a pathway to empowerment. Around 40% of our people and families are living in crisis. Governments spend billions but little is changing. Living in crisis is the status quo. Every day I see mums and dad drinking and taking drugs, forgetting about their kids. Women, children and old people are being hurt. Houses are smashed up, kids are roaming the street all night. Some are drinking, using drugs and committing crime. Babies are being born with fetal alcohol syndrome. There's so much crime and people getting locked up. There's little hope for people, that's why so many are killing themselves. When they make a few positive changes, a person or family moves from crisis to stabilised. These can be things like taking the kids to school every day, getting a job or undertaking studies or training, paying your rent and looking after your home, not committing crimes and taking care of old people and children by making sure they are safe and healthy. Sometimes something happens to make them seek help to try to get themselves together. And things can change for the better, but often not for long. When they come back to their community, sometimes drinking starts again, and like a boomerang, they go back to crisis. We need to stop this devastating boomerang effect. There's nothing for our people here, except misery, broken families and lost potential. We must move on. The good news is that not all go back to crisis. With external support or sheer determination, they have become ready for change. We can work towards our independence by getting jobs or apprenticeship, and we support through transitional housing, which requires us to agree to certain things, like staying employed, keeping your house clean, paying rent, and sending our children to school every day. Mum, I'm glad you stopped drinking. We can do lots of things together now. Once people and families make it to real change, they're on their way to an empowered and independent future. We got a job. Our families are doing well. Kids are being looked after and are going to school. We're also listening to our elders, going hunting and fishing and learning the ceremonies, songs and stories of our people. Sadly, despite the billions being spent by governments, Aboriginal people are not moving to meaningful change. They're moving between crisis and stabilised, like a never-ending boomerang. We need to create a pathway to empowerment to support our people to become independent. We cannot achieve empowerment without first taking responsibility. That's why Indigenous leaders in the East Kimberley have the courage to support the cashless debit card. It's like a pulley system in the centre, a wheel that supports and pulls the people from crisis through to change and on to full personal empowerment. Taking their family from crisis to change will be the most important journey they will go on in their life because their children's lives will depend on it. We also need government to show courage and be prepared to change their thinking. We need them to stop funding the same programs that they have for the past 40 years, wasting billions of dollars each year, and start funding programs that we know will support the movement of our people from crisis all the way through to change. To achieve this radical change, we need great leaders, indigenous and non-indigenous. Ones prepared to take people not where they want to go, but where they know they have to go. Our people must understand that culture and independence cannot exist when people live in never-ending crisis. We cannot continue as we are for the next 40 years and expect our living conditions to change. We must take the lead in creating our future. This will require courage and great leaders from Aboriginal people and government who have a high expectation and belief in our people. By leading our people to the pathway to empowerment, we can close the door on the welfare era and we will win.